Hello friends and welcome to this video on neutral English accent. In this video we will learn about the sound S which is a voiceless sound. So let's take a look at the video. S is a sound which comes from the front part of the tongue and it touches your alveolar ridge. So S. I know there are people who have problems in taking out the sound, so this video is specifically for those people and this comes without moving your voice box. So you just are making a s sound and that's all. So let's do some practice and let's see here. So how we use S as an initial, in the middle, and in the ending. Now let's see the words soft, set, social, society, sing, assume, miss, face, motorcycle, ice, horse, sing, muscle, nice, dress, eraser, messy, lecherous, bends, whistle, juice. Scarf, scar, slay, spam, smell, smudge, smash, space, snooze, spine, snowball, stem, spinach, spark, Celebrate, cereal, citizen, ceremony, ceiling, scissors, accuracy, participate, decide, curiosity. So we are going to follow the sound and not just the letter. So irrespective of whether it's a S or C, but the sound we need to catch, which is coming as a S sound. Jealousy, inspection, loudspeaker, outspoken, respectful, prosperity, tablespoon, suspicious, transparent, responsibility, whisper, Shakespeare. Let's take a look at a few sentences. Doctors study for many years. I always eat cereals for breakfast. School starts at 8 and finishes at 3. It sometimes rains here in the summer. The soup tastes salty. Bicyclists must obey all traffic lights in the city. You are a student, aren't you? It would be amazing to go into space. Spinach is very healthy for you. Don't spill on the carpet. The graveyard was spooky at night. You can choose to play many sports. I eat my asparagus steamed. You must have your passport to enter. I see more than one star. The gum on my shoe is too sticky. His stomach was sore from the pain. It was a big lightning storm. I need to stir the soup. It was their favorite store to shop at. She raised her hand to ask a question. The chopsticks were made from bamboo. I love bacon, eggs, and orange juice for breakfast. I went to the dentist for a checkup. His chest is muscular. So you see how we've used these into sentences. Now let's do some reading paragraphs. So the first one is sailboat. Last December, I was sad because my favorite baseball team lost in a tournament. You should have seen my face. It looked like someone erased my smile. To 
chair me, my dad took me out on our sailboat. It was a little messy, so we took some soap and cleaned it up first. We took some sandwiches, soup, juice, and left the house early on Saturday morning. We spent a few hours sailing around the lake. It was relaxing to just sit and listen to the water against the boat and soak up some sun. Dad told me he was sorry about the baseball team losing. They will have more chances to win in the future, he said. I told him I wasn't too sad anymore. I just really wanted them to win, I said. Dad suggested that we sing the team song. He thought that would help us get excited for next year's tournament. Next year, we will sit outside on the grass behind the fence to watch the game, Dad said. We can take some salad, popsicles, and your toy dinosaurs. It will be the most fun we've ever had at a baseball game. I love my dad. He is so good at helping me be happy. Next one is the Ice Hotel. My family and I want to see the Ice House. It is really called Ice Hotel, but I call it the Ice House. It is located in a small town in Sweden called Jukasjärvi. I don't know how to say it, but that's okay. Everything inside of it is made of ice, really. There are ice sculptures, ice beds, ice walls, an ice roof, ice chairs, ice couches, and even an ice restaurant. People get married there, see the northern lights, snow mobiling, dog sledding, and learn how to ice sculpt. It looks like so much fun if you don't mind the cold. Some of my friends have wondered how someone would sleep on a bed of ice. I told them you sleep on a bed of ice the same way you sleep on your bed at home with blankets. I have wondered if the hotel has ice showers with ice soap, but my mom told me it would be too cold for people to do that. Next we have a smart locksmith. Smitty is a clever businessman. He is smart, a smooth deal maker and always smells like pizza. Some people might not like that, but since I love pizza, it's okay with me. I am a locksmith and Smitty is the person I order parts from. When people break, smash or ruin their door handles or locks, they call me. There are thousands of different types of locks and handles, but Smitty knows all of them. That's why I think he is so clever. He and I were classmates at Smith High School and have worked together for 10 years now. He always answers my questions and has just the right locksmith tools and products I need to help my customers. I have wondered if he has a secret locksmith lab in his basement. That way he can be around locksmith parts and tools all the time. When I asked him how he knew so much, he smiled and said he was given a book at Christmas 10 years ago. The title of the book was Everything You Need to Know About Locksmithing. It isn't a small book, he said. He has learned everything he knows from that book. Of course, he still has to be smart and remember the information in it, and being a smooth salesman helps too. There is a lot to be learned from reading. I should start reading some of the books I have in my basement. Next we have is Sports Crazy. Spike is a sports nut. Some people might say he is sports lunatic. He knows specific statistics about almost every baseball, basketball, soccer, volleyball, hockey, tennis, 
rugby and cricket game that has been played in the last six years. The first basketball game he watched sparked his interest. From that time on, he has almost become a specialist in most sports and their players. I think he should be the sports writer. If he had it this way, he would eat spoonfuls of sports for breakfast. When I told him, he responded by saying they might be a little crispy. Recently, he has become more interested in motorsports like car, motorcycle and speedboat racing. A few months ago, he was changing spark plugs in his car. He realized there were sports that use machines and he didn't know anything about them. Since then, he has spent every day watching and researching motorsports. He spends a lot of time and money learning about sports. That way, he can speak to others about them and answer questions they might have. Some people have asked him to speculate about what teams or drivers will win so they can bet on them. Spike won't do that, though. He says he has too much respect for sports to sell them out. So you see, this practice really works out to practice the different sounds. So the next sound which we are moving on to is a z sound. So z, that's the voice you need to take out. So it produces moving your voice box. So if you say, you say the word, say the sound z, so you can hear the voice box moving. Now let's do some practice. So, Z in the initial, middle, and ending. Zone, zip, zebra, zeal, rise, froze, rose, puzzle, present, music, cheese, zucchini, zinc, cousin, desert, wizard, lizard, knees, freeze, cheesecake. Please, zero, cookies, fingers, flowers, sunrise, magazine, sneeze, keys, raisin, zigzag, scissors, laser, closet, teas, bananas, prize, exercise, busy, Zillion, Advertising, Appetizer, Observatory, Organization, Horizon, Easily, Horizontal, Invisible, Reservation, Husband, Supervisor, Newspaper, Raspberry, Season, Visitor, Wednesday, President, Thursday, Amaze, arrows. Let's do some practice with the sentences. Be careful, the floor is wet. It was raining. I have a car and so does she. This town is too small. Everyone knows each other. He works more quickly than she does. My office is as big as his office. When you visit a national park, you can go fishing. You will zap yourself in case if you touch wire. We saw a zebra in the jungle. There are zillion stars in the universe. The path is zigzag down the hill. Don't forget to write the zip code. Zoe likes to read at home. That is a no parking zone sign. The snow blizzard lasted for three days. He got the first cheese slice of cheesecake. No one has a bigger closet in the house. I was to pick the daisy. This looks like hard music to play. We are having lunch on Wednesday afternoon. He uses a razor to shave. They served baked beans at the picnic. Melt the cheese and we can dip chips in it. They own two dogs. The 
baby's fingers were too so tiny. The potted flowers were colorful. His glasses helped him see. That is a big stack of pillows. He ordered a plate of tacos. Let's do some reading paragraphs practice with the Z sound. So the first one is flowers galore. Zach went over to Zoe's house on Thursday. She was outside with the hose. Her house had tons of flowers around it. There must have been a zillion. It was so beautiful that Zach thought she deserved a prize for the most beautiful flower garden ever. Zoe took Zach around each of the flower beds and told him what the flowers were called. He didn't sneeze once. His favorites were the zinnias. They felt so soft on his fingers when he touched them and besides that, zinnias were the coolest name. Any words that started with a Z like Zach were the coolest. Zoe asked him if we wanted to help water the flowers. He took the hose and began watering. When he got over to the zinnias, they were surrounded by bees. Zach had zero love for bees, so he dropped the hose and ran as fast as he could. He zigged and zagged, but there was still one bee zooming after him. Zack yelled, please, please, please don't sting me just in time. Zoe zoomed in with her fly swatter and zapped that bee to the ground. Zoe shrugged her shoulders and said, you want to go in and have some cookies? Zack nodded and said, yes, please. Next one is Zoro's treasure. There once was a lizard named Zoro. He used to live all alone in the desert, but now he lived in the park with a few other lizard families. He was an unusual lizard because he loved to collect human things. Zoro even had his days planned out so he could be productive and find lots of things. Monday was his lazy day. You could say it was his day for picking daisies. Tuesday was his exercise day. He used his human items and lifted them as weights so he would be the strongest lizard. He never wanted to find something he couldn't carry back to his cave. He would be doomed. Wednesdays he searched for food. He would find little beans, bits of cheese and lost raisins. Sometimes he found broken cookies and colorful candies. One time he even found a whale slice of cheesecake. He had to be Zorro strong that day to lift the Tupperware off so he could eat it. Thursdays, he got in the zone and hunted for treasure. So far, his collection consisted of lost keys, broken glasses, missing puzzle pieces, rusty scissors, buttons, and a men's razor. His prized possession was a soft, nameless, fuzzy thing he used as a pillow. It made his night so relaxing and wonderful. Friday was his washing day. He would sing music all day long and wash his new found treasures. On Saturdays, he opened his cave and let the other lizards in to look at his prizes. It was zero cost to enter, but if they wanted to eat some of his food, they had to bring him a treasure to keep. Those were his best deals. This week ended with Sunday. He would pick fresh flowers, eat desert, and do a puzzle. He loved to think about how he did not miss the desert at all. You could say he was one zany lizard. Well, that's quite interesting. <laughs> all right, so the next one is the zillion blizzard. Xander was in the kitchen and his sister Zaria. She was making a present for him. On the counter was the blender, raspberry juice, refried beans, cheddar cheese, pretzels, leftover tacos, raisins, crackers, zucchini, and several seasonings. Zaria began dumping things in the blender. First, she put in the beans, 
cheese and bread cells and mashed them down with a spoon. Next, she put in the tacos, raisins and crackers. Then she let the blender zing for about 10 seconds. Zaria cut up the zucchini with scissors and dropped it into it too. Then she said, hand me those seasonings, so Xander did. She sprinkled them in a crazy zigzag pattern over the top of the blender and Xander sneezed the biggest sneeze of his life. Zaria looked up with a crazy look on her face and said, Sorry, Xander, but I know you are going to love this blizzard. It's called a zillion because you can put a zillion things in it and it's still to die for. She poured the raspberry juice in until it reached the top and the blender zinged again. It needs one more thing, she said. She took a frozen slice of cheesecake out of the freezer and put it in the blender. It zinged again and Zaria poured the the mixture into a glass. Then she held it out for Xander. Xander held it up to his nose and sneezed again. He did not want to drink it, but Zaria wanted him to so bad that she said please about a zillion times. He did not want her to be sad, so he plugged his nose and took a drink. First he tasted the refried beans, then the raisins, and then everything else followed. The Zillion Blizzard was the perfect name for it because it felt like there was a horrible blizzard going on in his stomach. He was about to hurl, so he zoomed to the bathroom. He leaned over the toilet and thought, my sister is right, this is to die for. So thank you friends for watching this video. Keep watching more English vocabulary videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.